Hello, it's Scott Manley here with part 28 of uh, Stellaris. The, the galaxy has become a little more uh, busy. We've now found the Athelid Core Worlds, a fallen empire that roamed the stars eons before me. We are, uh, well, i am I'm probably fixed my energy uh, consumption mostly uh, by essentially switching from being our, you know, spiritualist past and becoming, embracing corporatism. We, uh, no, we're losing energy credits again. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to know why, what's losing, what just tipped me over, right? Because economic effects, spaceport module costs, no current effects. I would like to know what is, what is going on here. But anyway, we have some stuff going on. We should have some new spacecraft coming online, unfortunately. Oh yeah, here we go. Himpra, we're going to be uh, colonizing this and that will really hurt. The second task force is 14% upgraded. Uh, we should just continue to do things here. And I think control 5. Oh, no. Is it, is it shift 5? No, it's control 5. There we go. That adds that to the list. So we're upgrading the task force and then we have synchronized defenses, engineering, observatory, solar panel. What can we build here that would make it more awesome? Destroyer assembly yards. That costs maintenance though. That takes maintenance, that takes maintenance. Uh, it takes maintenance as well. All these things. Um, yeah, we're going to be shipping out soon enough. We're just waiting for these to come online. Waiting for the well, we're waiting for the uh, task force to get upgraded, waiting for power supplies to come online. We now our Fidera is being colonized, which is going to take money away from me. We also have Ampal Dur, and they are building a colony. Or they're building a colony ship, which will be done soon enough. And it turns out that they can colonize a planet in their own system. Right, there's literally a, you know, continental world in their own system. I had originally thought, you know, let's go up and take Landine away from these uh, nice individuals, but that seems like a bad plan because it's going to be right on the front lines when I roll in there and start trying to vassalize them. I think I just need to go all the way here. There's no way I can half-ass this. I pretty much need to take this whole empire down because I absolutely have to get access to the malleable Gulantha. That's all that matters to me. Construction complete. Excellent. We have space. Yes. Now you see. Now we're net cash flow, money flow, energy flow positive. We also have a construction ship which is Pursuit moving down complete. here because we're going to need to terraform this. Ah, now we have precognition. You know what this means, of course, is that uh, this increases my chance to evade, and we probably should be doing something interesting with it. Okay. Atmospheric filtering. That just basically increases habitability across the world. Naval capacity. I don't need any more naval capacity. I'm going to do this. Atmospheric filtering. So back. You're doing that. Uh, battleships will still take a while. I don't mind. He's getting mad skills doing it. Yeah, everyone gets... So just by burning all my influence on... I basically have enabled all the different science bonuses... So we get minus 10, minus 10, plus 30. So that's working. That's working pretty well in general. I think that's that's going to do me well. Although we are encouraging diversion within the population. Okay. And now, yes, look. A net, a net income here in terms of energy credits. That will be very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. No, how's Busum doing? Oh, here we go. Uh, we could build a spaceport upgrade. Yeah, let's build a spaceport upgrade. And once again, we're losing power. Is that because we're building something? Is that is that? Am I maybe not understanding this? Energy credits, building maintenance, uh, army maintenance, module maintenance. Using construction ships to build mining stations around energy-rich planets. Building or upgrading power plants. That's fine. I just need more power. Scotty, we need more power. We need warp speed or we're all dead. 
Verdera will be my new place. Unfortunately, we don't really have the skills to... Um, we don't really have much in the way of skills to expand our... our to clear all these things. So we're going to be in trouble for a little while. Oh, who's this? Oh yeah, this is my... my dude here. Coming in. Finish this, and then get me my power back. And... You are going to start building a terraforming... Oh. An orbital station. Oh yeah, I think the orbital stations might evaporate, actually, as soon as... As soon as I do this. Colony established. Colony established. These things just deconstruct themselves. So that's what happens. You you can get one resource from the planet, but after that... Oh, the Macandor's back! The Mac is back! And the Mac is going to be heading here to assist in research. So I'm going to take a look at my fleet design. I want to see if the destroyer has ship-mounted subspace plasma thrusters. Construction defensive. complete. Do we get like the science, the crazy thing, or is that just a global bonus that we get? Everybody complete. gets this bonus. Nice, nice. Look at that power excess. 12 points. Now we just need to not die. And the leader has gained a level. Our scientist, Valdrig von whatever. That's the one that's just sitting in orbit helping with research. He hasn't got very much to do. Not much I can do, really. We have an ocean world. And we have a fleet here, so we should do this. Dude! Dude, colonize this world. Colonize it right away. Bring us the... I think I'm going to stick that there. Because we want to stick it in the middle. Uh, so that it, it can give its bonuses when the time is right. Let's just check. Economic effects. Government. Uh, edict cost is reducing. Oh, it's cheaper doing it that way. We're not going to have another election for a while. And we're up to 55% upgraded. And so I think actually that psionic thing just helps us be slightly better. For Daryl, look at this, it's an ocean world, isn't that amazing? And I would really like to blow like a hundred energy credits on this complete. thing, but that's just not gonna work, is it? Uh, you can build... Uh, quarters that's in orbit, engineering bay, right? So I think... I'm wondering whether this ship modifier, ship upkeep, is like a worldwide, galaxy-wide, empire-wide thing. Because it's not really clear. Not really clear to me. Crew quarters, of course, uh, helps there. Whatever, we'll just have to live with it. I, pro I need to really check my documentation on that front. The Mulder's just hanging out there, sciencing the heck out of things. Bring in all the science it can. And this is now working back within the realms of the Agarian Republic. So we're taking that. If we colonize it, of course, that would be... That would help because it would push out my border a little and give me access to these things. I think Grugmora is the place they dropped a, a frontier outpost. And it's still within the United Union of Ulgarak. I'm worried that I haven't seen any warships... Like, we've never seen any. Interlinked support systems. Barrier point defense. Great. Tachyon sensors. Predictive algorithms. Uh, Space-time theory. That will basically mean that we need more of these things. I kind of like the idea... Oh, man. Everything takes so much. Physics lab. We'll need more power. Tachyon sensors will increase my... Sensor range. Uh, it'll increase my sensor range and improve survey speed, but I'm not really sure if it has a militaristic thing. Guardian point defense. Yeah, let's let's do this one. You know what? Let's just take the red lasers. It's gonna be ready in six months. 
We still haven't got laser skills. We might as well do that. Okay, second task force, 73% upgraded. We don't want these guys to be, you know, Resistance caught with their complete. pants down, so to speak. Atmospheric filtering. That was a nice fast one. And, oh, hostile environment. Yes, that's actually better. So this will improve habitability of all my planets again. So that'll make my worldwide or my galaxy-wide, whatever, empire-wide happiness a whole lot better. I'm wondering how these guys are doing with their... Yeah, these have... They have robots, but we don't know how many robots. Now they've... They're just, like, doing whatever they can. Do we see what they have on their spaceport? We don't really know. Splitting the atom! Physicists from the alien civilization on Neba Vyada have managed to split the atom for the first time. With the discovery of nuclear fission, the first nuclear weapons are inevitably being produced and nuclear power plants are coming online. The Rayab civilization has entered the critical phase where they suddenly possess the means to destroy their own world at the press of a button. A significant development. Okay. So they do actually grow at their own rate. I'm still waiting to meet the the medieval XCOM. That would be fun. Because, uh, you know, I want to see some axes and stuff being deployed against my alien invasions. Okay, let's just check. Yeah, it is kind of... We have a construction fleet there. We have... What's this? That's the Machander. We have the Malder. Fox Malder. We have this world. This is still being colonized. Yeah, I'm going to have starports everywhere just because I need the... I have so much minerals, but I just don't need anything else. Uh, let's build this out. Uh, spaceport. Build a uh, spaceport upgrade. Yes. I might, as well, I might as well level everything to level 5. Like, what else am I going to do? Uh, what do we see? Budget, policies, demographics... You know, I guess, actually, what I should probably do is change the focus of some of my... my dudes. Eldatha Sector. I'd like you to focus on financial stuff. Oh, Gandara Sector, sorry. Because we are... Yeah, we are getting pretty stressed here by this. I'm gonna be doing some... some shooty-shooty. Anytime soon! Look at this fleet. They're being all upgraded by having yellow arrows shoot out of their tops. Look at that. It really is a sight. A sight to uh, inspire awe. As in, oh, wow. Colony established. We've colony established. It. Yes. Energy credits coming back up again. That's right. Verdera, what are you doing? I really would like to clear that. But I think uh, we can we can let you guys just do your thing for now. How is what's the planet summary habitability sixty five percent? We definitely are going to need a frontier clinic on that. But as soon as this is ready to go, we're calling the war. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Of course, I don't have any ground forces yet. I'm going to have to figure that out. Research complete. Ah, uh, research. We've got the red lasers. Yes, that took so long. Oh, warp drive two. Yes, I want warp drive two. Do I have somebody that has mad uh, field skills? No, I don't. Okay. We're doing. We're, yeah, we're pretty good at all these things. Yeah, I'm liking this dude. Sobak is just mad skills. Okay. Come on, get your upgrades in. 90%. I want to see just how powerful it makes makes you. First place we're going is, is here. We're just like dropping the bomb on these guys. I, it's a shame I don't have the ability to glass planets. But then again, let's take a look at my policies. Maybe I can change these things. So, can I purge? Uh, I don't have that option. Orbital bombardment. Limited. Uh, okay. Native Interference. Can I change that yet? No. Native Enlightenment. Allowed. Migration. 
free migration, resettlement, still prohibited, voting rights, elitism, leadership, primary species, first contact, aggressive. We can't do any of these things. Semi-static. Oh yeah, this is like a... This war economy helps. You can basically make it good for you when you're losing, or help you when you're losing, which is nice, I guess. Ocean world, 65% habitable. Here we go, 94%. Of course, these guys are just going to get some new stuff as soon as the... As soon as this comes online. They'll have... We have some new toys that we haven't deployed. We'll find out how bad the, the enemies are. Seven... Cause you, so I have to go for the full-on vassalize option, because I really want to get through here and check this out. And Unless I get them to you know, submit their home world, I basically Ships can't get in there. Construction complete. Okay. Now, the time has arrived. The time has arrived, the Olgarak. Where are you? Why can't I see you? The Union of Olgarak Systems is because it's Union. Communicate. Sorry, we're going to declare war. I'm going to demand vassalization. Yeah, we can demand. They're not going to do that, basically. I'm going to declare war. Because I demand that we vassalize you. Uh, oh. So I can liberate planets? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I, do I do that or what? Oh, do I do that? No. What do I do? Add war goals. How do I add the war goals? Place them under the control of another. It says select. Ah, there we go. Place them under the control of the Agarian Republic. That's what's going to happen. There we go. Now that makes total sense. Confirmed. Oh, yeah. The game is afoot. Diplomatic response. But why? Because you have too many eyes. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Second task force is heading here. And immediately we're losing power. Once again, back with the incredible loss of power. Hopefully one of my... Hopefully one of, some of my home worlds can work on this energy deficit. Here we go, we're gonna just like drop into your system and start, you know, blowing you up. First thing is we're gonna knock out your starbase. That's important. Let's take a look at this. There we go. The glorious Agarian fleet. Attacking civilian targets, basically. Oh, we're taking this down first. We have the, the shard emitters here, by the way. Those are like a weapon that we figured out from the crystal uh, species. Yeah, they're mining station. Okay. okay, so they have 2k, so we need to bring our fleet back. That's fine. We just wanted to know where they were going. So we shall meet them. Oh, actually, we'll meet them here. And that's fine, because we will have the edge. Oh, wow, they're moving fast. Where's, where are they on their way to? Entering orbit of Istashi, but we're going to intercept them before then. I think they have much better warp drives than me, now I think about it. Okay, so at Estashi, spaceport, we're going to start building uh, some cruisers. One, two, three, four. We should probably build some destroyers. Yeah, so these will come out of the come out of the cooker hopefully quickly enough to actually help, since they're making a beeline for Estashi. And it turns out that I don't have the ability to chase these guys nearly as fast as I would like. So there, that was a surprise. They have better warp drive than me. But maybe I can engage them. Please don't run away. 
Please don't run away. We're going to see what happens here. Will they get there in time? Will they engage me? Oh, they're they're heading out of here. They're heading straight for Astashi. That's what they're doing. That was a mistake. You know what? I could just go straight for their home world. Maybe that's what I should do. So, uh, yeah, with that display of staggering ineptitude, I may have, in fact, doomed my species, but I guess uh, this is a good place to end the episode. See you in episode 29. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.